It's a devastating disease and there's no cure. Upwards of 3,000 Canadians are living with ALS, sometimes called Lou Gehrig's disease. And it's estimated our chances of developing the condition is 1 in 800. But behind the numbers are the people touched by ALS. With daughter Kennedy and dad Fred by his side, Mario Vela is fighting ALS. You feel like you've been robbed of being the father the father you want to be. Mario was diagnosed 13 years ago with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis or ALS. It's a degenerative disease affecting nerves that control voluntary muscle movement. In the past 10 years, the annual golf tournament that Mario spearheads has raised more than $200,000 for ALS research. It's money that helps researchers like Dr. Strong. This Sunday, some of the top ALS researchers in the world will be in London for a symposium on ways to better understand the disease and hopefully find a cure. We were instrumental in discovering that there's a type of a, a memory or behavioral disorder that can occur in ALS. And we discovered that in the mid-90s and over the last decade have been understanding how that occurs, starting to reproduce it in cell culture. And we can actually now mimic a lot of the pathology that we see and actually reverse it. Mario has hopes for others living with ALS. LS. That they are able to know that a cure is right around the corner.